Hey guys, Dylan from Twin Finance. Today, I'm gonna to teach you three easy ways you can invest your first $1,000. Okay guys, the first way you can invest your $1,000 is an index fund. For, you, for those of you guys that don't know what an index fund is, well, an index fund is gonna track an index. So for example, S&P 500 index from Vanguard is gonna track the S&P 500 for that year. It's gonna own all the stocks in the S&P 500. One of the reasons why I like index funds no buy and sell fee. You're rarely ever going to see a buy and sell fee. For, for a stock, for example, it's $10 per buy and sell. Per buy, sorry. You're, you're not going to pay any fee to sell. But with index funds, there's no fee whatsoever. The second, the second reason I like them, low MER. So index funds are passively managed opposed to an actively managed mutual fund. So that means that whoever manages it just kind of lets it sit there. Their, their portfolio is very, ever turn, very, very rarely ever turned over. The third reason why I like it, good long-term investment. The S&P 500 over the last 90, 90 to 100 years is average average of 10% return. So you put that you put that $1,000 away and a few years down the road, like it's going to give you a pretty steady return. Like the market will fluctuate up and down each, each of the years, but over the long haul, it's going to be a pretty solid investment. You're never going to want to come in, uh, try and hit a home run, lose all your money, but an index fund is going to give you a single or a double. You're not going to lose all your money, but you're not going to gain a thousand percent. But this is why I like index funds. The second way you can invest your thousand dollars is stocks, guys. Well, if for those of you guys that don't know what a stock is, a stock you own a share in a company. So let's say you went on and bought an Apple share. Well, now you're a part owner. It doesn't matter how small or how big, you're still a part owner of that company. And based on that company's stock performance over the year, you're gonna your investment is gonna go up or down. The reason why I like stocks, usually flat 999, that's the average, is uh, every time you buy a stock, it's only gonna be a 999 fee. So I recommend never invest lower than $1,000 in, into one stock because $10 of $1,000 is gonna be 1%. So you don't wanna typically go down below 1% on any investment right away. Another reason why I like stocks is no MER. So opposed to the index funds before, they are very low MER, but you're still gonna pay some MER. Stocks, you don't pay anything for them to manage it because you're the owner and it's not traded if you hold it. Third reason, higher risk, but higher risk people usually get scared, but if you pick a true value investment, you can really mitigate this risk. So what, what that means is you can you can like uh, grow your reward and mit, like you can lower your risk, grow your reward. So let's say you got a good company at a good price hey, you might get 50%. For example, last year, Amazon, over the course of 2017, 60% to 70% return. I'm not quite sure what that was, but it's right around that area. That means your thousand, now it's 1,600. That's pretty good, guys. So that's why I like stocks. Higher risk, but you can also get higher rewards. So for those of you guys that want to take a little more risk and you want to grow that thousand into something bigger, these, this is the one for you. The third way you can invest your money, guys, and this is my personal favorite way, is in yourself. So when we're talking about in yourself, I'm not talking about like, let's go out to Gucci and let's buy some belts and some jeans and some shirts. Like I'm talking, let's get some knowledge. So the best thing you can do for yourself is educate yourself. So when I say invest in yourself, I'm talking books. Like I know those seem stone age to a lot of you guys, but get some books, get some uh, investing books. If you want to learn about investing, if you want to learn about entrepreneurship, get some entrepreneurship books. You got to get some mindset books. You got to get yourself in the right place prepared to invest. So the first thing I did with my thousand dollars is I bought some books. The next thing I got a computer so I could tr like follow the stock market, even though I wasn't in it, just following it, see how it behaves. This is really going to help you. It's really going to know. You're really going to like feel in the right place if you if you do that. The third thing you can do is what I got is like a filing cabinet. So like all the notes I took, all the knowledge I gained, I was just writing it down, you know, on paper in a book in my like, like my little binder. It, you're going to want to file all that so you can keep that knowledge. So if you ever need to reference it, it's always there. So you're never going to forget this knowledge. The reason why I like this one more than say stocks, index funds, any investment is this thousand dollars to you could be worth millions down the road. It could be worth billions. Like you don't think Warren Buffett and Bill Gates and Zuckerberg, like their money they invested in themselves. Like look where they're at now. So th this could be you guys too, guys. So this is my third, it's my third favorite way. This is the best way I think. So thank you for watching this video. Remember to subscribe. For more awesome videos on finance, thank you.